Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone, especially to our lecturer. So today, I will be representing my group, group A 3.4, and I will be presenting about AC single phase two poles synchronous motor. First of all, this is our group members. Myself is Mohamed Iskandar Shah, and I will be presenting and editing the video. The rest, Mohamed Anafi Adli and Mohamed Isof, they will be completing the report. First introduction, what is synchronous motor? The most common types of AC motors are the synchronous and induction motors. The synchronous motor differs from the induction motor in that it does not rely on current induction to produce the rotor magnetic field. The synchronous motor is one in which the rotor normally rotates at the same speed as the revolving field in the machine. Therefore, it rotates at a rate log to the line frequency. The principle of operation of a synchronous motor can be understood by considering the stator windings to be connected to a three-phase alternating current supply. Next, what is the function of brushes and brush holder? First, the function of brushes is to conduct electricity to the individual segments as they rotate from brush to brush. This allows the motor to turn in one direction at a speed determined by the number of windings in the armature. Next, the function of brush holder is to act as a structure in which a brush can slide in a direction perpendicular to the moving surface of a motor, generator, or other device. It holds the brush so that the brush can perform properly. Holders provide stable support in the proper position in relation to the contact surface and often provide the means for application of the contact force on the brush. Next, for the lab activity. The procedure of synchronization. First, we need to start the motor, switch on the drive machine, bring the shaft speed to 3000 rpm in reverse mode, then switch on the AC single phase supply to the stator windings and adjust the voltage level to 135 volt. Next, switch on the synchronous motor rotor DC supply and adjust the current to 2.5 ampere DC. The motor should pull into synchronism and run st steadily at its synchronous speed. Next, the drive machine can now be switched off, but as shaft remains coupled to the synchronous motor, it will now be driven by it. Last, take the reading for this no load test and record it. Next, connection of the experiment. So this is the connection of the experiment. I will introduce each of the equipment that been used. First, this is single entry phase measurement. Next, variable AC DC supply. This is rectifier, voltmeter, and ammeter. DC voltmeter and ammeter. Universal power supply. DC motor. Base unit of machine. Rotor or coil. And last one, stator contains brush, commutator, and slip ring. So for the connection of the wire, red wire is used for incoming supply and black wire is used for outgoing supply so that's all from me thank you